Hey everyone, welcome to another fantastic episode of the Boston Greeks podcast. We have an amazing show today. We have two very special guests, uh, two very impressive individuals who are doing great things, um, doing very tasty things, I might add. Uh, before we bring them on though, let me bring my co-host Foti Stamos on. How are you, Foti? Good in yourself, Ari. I'm doing very well. And uh, tell us, tell us what's happening. Well, what's going on? As you, as you mentioned, again, another exciting episode. We always stumble upon so many great Greeks, whether they're in our local, national, global level. But these two guests uh, deserve to actually be brought on so we can kind of celebrate what they're doing as Greek Americans uh, in the local market, you know, being that we're in Boston right now, that... Uh, you know, it's interesting that we were discussing this earlier that when we're out and about and we're browsing through whether it's a retail shop or what have you, we stumble upon a Greek product that's in a non-Greek environment. And we always get excited. Hmm. Just like as with the rolling credits that was we see at the end of the movie, <laughs> the Greek yep. name, like, super excited. But um, we're going to talk to our two guests in, in two seconds. And uh, this definitely is an exciting episode when it comes to Greek food products. Hmm. So nothing better, nothing better. Right. So as we're getting uh, hungry of, by discussing this, we want to bring in our two guests, uh, Peter and Vespina Stadiadidis from Thea Brands. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, and it's been a pleasure having you on here for the first time with us at Boston Greeks podcast. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, Foti and Adi, for having us on. We're excited to be with you both. Right. You, Foti, Adi, we're very excited as well. Um, it's an honor. Keep up the good work. And you guys are doing a lot of great stuff from what I uh, frequently view and uh, keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, I get excited because being from Boston, you know, you're a Boston, I'm, I'm assuming a Boston based company or Boston and beyond. Correct. Right. And, and if I'm not mistaken, and we'll talk about this in detail, you know, your brand is growing and the fact that it's growing so rapidly, it's so refreshing to see the acceptance of what you're making in the mainstream market. Absolutely. I'll let this be, I kind of give a little bit of the uh, backstory, how this whole thing came about. Yeah. We've been very blessed. Actually, uh, our main, uh, actually, our main product is uh, Spreadable Feta. That's what we launched our brand with. Um, and obviously, we're obviously very familiar with Feta being from the homeland. Right. And, uh, the product itself is Terokafteri, as known in Greece, which is kind of spreadable, spicy feta. Mm -hmm. right. But our story kind of goes a little yeah. different than that. Yes. It actually started in southern Florida, the whole idea did. Um, our mom, actually, we're siblings. Our mom is a, uh, a chef, and uh, for years would do the food and wine festival in southern Florida in Miami. Oh. And uh, we had to, it was three days. It, it would be a three-day event. Day event, yeah. So yeah. Food Network would host it, and um, they would invite our mother, Georgia, who had developed multiple cookbooks throughout her career um, that were published, Barnes and Nobles and so forth, and had a local regional show called Cooking with Georgia that later on became Cooking with Georgia and Des, and I would co-host, and I would cook in the kitchen with her. And we had taken her local show and pretty much made it regional, and pretty much we were throughout the United States. So we would be invited to these Food, and, um, food Network Food and Wine Festivals, and we would have to, within three days, like cater to 30 plus thousand people. Whoa. So it yeah. was like insanity was on South Beach, on the beach. It, you know, I mean, what an unbelievable experience my mother had really given us. And so we needed a go-to item that we could serve quickly because the lines would just become enormous. Only imagine. So, yeah. So she was like, why don't we do that? I can't even say it right. <laughs> yeah. And um, you guys can tell he's the better Greek speaking one, um, <laughs> but I'm very proud of being Greek American. Um, but anyway, so um, we created Spreadable Feta and I'll never forget that specific year because we had done so many different products, but that specific year we had had public buyers come to us. Publix is an, a huge, one of mm -hmm. the largest supermarket chains in the United States. Yeah. And one of their national buyers came up to us and they were like, um, are you guys selling this retail? And this was back guys 
in 2000 and probably 12. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh God, no, we're in the cooking show, cookbook business. Long story short, they handed us their business card and said, if you're ever interested in producing this product, let us know. Long story short, like fast forward, we kind of put it on the back burner. Um, and in 2016, my brother Darius here, Peter, I'm one of four. I have um, two older siblings. Peter's the youngest, and I'm in, right in the smack middle. So you guys can just understand how that goes in a Greek I, family. I, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be tough. I had to be a girly, everything. But anyways, um, he approached me and said, hey, you know what? Mom and I really want to do this, um, you know, spreadable feta. We think that it's going to do really well kind of looked at them. I'm like, here we go again. Here's another business adventure. Well, I, had to, I had to secure some funding, right? <laughs> so you needed me. Right? <laughs> we had to go through all the uh, regulatory boards to get certifications, approval. Sure. Um, it's quite a process, obviously, yeah. right? To take something to market. You know, I was going to say, I, was, I just want to ask you very quickly, yeah. without, you know, having to tell us all the details, but yeah. that that is a process that, you know, probably is not recommended for a lot of people because yeah. I, I can um, imagine it's absolutely. really difficult. And Adi, like if we knew, like if we knew what it took, I don't necessarily think we would have ever done it. Wow. So it was, it was a blessing in disguise that we did not know what it would take, right? They had this great idea. We knew that it was viable. We knew that people really loved it. Yeah, they were taking and, to it at the and, food And shows. they were we taking, know. and we would, we then created it as our staple item in different food shows. So we went to Colorado, we went to New York, New Jersey. I mean, we traveled throughout the yeah. United States and used this as a stapled item and people would go crazy. So we knew that we had a product that had legs to stand on. We just didn't understand what it would take, like from, you know, um, FDA um, approvals, like, you know, how do you actually the trademark? Take, and yeah, a kitchen ahead. item and like make it commercialized right and but, you know hear, hearing all this hearing all this makes me understand so much more that your brand is a real brand your brand is a solid brand and your brand is worthy of being in you know these with these different uh, chains and these different places Thank so you. so hearing that you know really just reinforces that this isn't like a couple of Greeks were like, oh, we make some good spread. I hear you. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is we this is the real Greeks, deal. <laughs> this, you went you went through all the hoops. You did everything you yeah. had to do, and and and, and then what, you, you did shows. You know, you said your food shows across the country and stuff. Like, you guys literally paid your dues and did did yeah. it from front to back, uh, beginning to where you are now. But from what yeah. from what you're telling us, it didn't dawn on you until that individual handed you a business card about. Correct. Right. It's kind of funny, uh, Fonti Adi. Let me just insert something to that. The card was given to me actually by the buyers, and the lady that approached me, I said, I, I don't even know what a buyer was, right? Yeah, I, we didn't know. Like, I said, we're here to sell cookbooks, right? <laughs> we're just trying to entice people with some samples, right? That was the whole idea. You give a little sample, they kind right. of, you know, get a feel of your cooking, your style, and what you have to offer. And that was the initial idea behind it. And there's even a deeper story. Uh, getting a, it was about eleven half thousand dollars. Eleven half thousand dollars back in the day to ship the product from Boston to the port of Miami. Oh, wow. And I'll never forget. It was scorching hot. Little did we know what would come of it. Right. Oh boy. Uh, that we'd be sitting here today, but with you know, with you guys and and discussing it. But uh, it really didn't hit us. Uh, it didn't hit me personally up until the food and wine festival up in, at Bally's in Atlantic City. Hmm. And when we got there and we got back, I said, she, I said, you know, the response is unbelievable. I had never, we had tried to do pitaikia, spanakopi, we had tried other stuff, items. olives, just to give people something, right? As they were going through our booth and their spina and mom were doing all these food demos. Yeah. So on they'd be on, on stage, on the main stage and stuff. And when we got back, we were like, you know what? We really, really feel we've got something here. And we've been around the food business, guys, like a lot of Greeks, Greek Americans, you know, the pizza shops, the, you know, dining, um, the, the whole. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Damn it. And I think that we feel extremely blessed for a couple of reasons, right? Just like many, many fellow Greeks, um, we've been exposed to the food um, business throughout many facets, but we were extremely blessed, you know, with 
our mom, who was a very tenacious woman, who was very driven, her Greek accent, nothing stopped her. Yeah. She learned how to read um, English. She learned how to write. She she really was a self-taught woman. Think about it. Who, she said she learned how to speak English watching I Love Lucy and the Three Stooges. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, very, very exactly. Funny. But you know, one That's of awesome. the biggest missions as a brand, besides really identifying as a, a Greek American brand and, and really, you know, being proud of our heritage and where we come from and what we have to offer as a culture to, to everyone um, across the United States and around the world. Yeah. It, because, you know, I think our cuisine is very unique. I think we eat very clean. I think we eat very healthy. Like, I think that we use the finest, purest ingredients from our olive oil to our oregano to our garlic. We, we, we put a lot of passion in our food. So One of do. our biggest things as we created our brand, um, Pete, myself and my mom, was that we didn't want to feed the public what we wouldn't eat. So we really stood by that saying that we were going to create items that would be clean labeled, you know, easy to read, um, you know, labels and that, you know, we would create items that were better for you, but it was like the next gen, right? So we thought about feta cheese and we said, okay, block feta, crumbled feta. The, the American marketplace is really accustomed to those two forms of feta cheese, but let's introduce something different that would be spreadable feta. We would use the convenience. We would, we would create something that was viable, different, but still within the realm of that feta cheese and something that, you know, my grandmother taught my mother how to make. Um, and from there, you know, our Mediterranean herb was our original flavor that we launched. That was like our first, like, you know, anchor. Um, you know, into the marketplace. But quickly we realized that, you know, we also wanted to add a flavor profile that everyone was accustomed to. So then we created roasted red pepper, Buffalo being our number one seller to Buffalo, date. Buffalo, we got um, crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, insane, right? We got our um, French onion dip feta dip coming up we, now. We have We've our French onion sriracha, feta dip. Uh, sriracha. Uh, Mike's Hot Honey. Mike's Hot Honey. We're doing wow. a deal with that. So we, we've we been extremely blessed in that sense because, you know, a lot of people don't realize it's not just like making it in the kitchen. There's R&D that goes behind it, research and development. There's sure. like looking at shelf life testing. It's real time shelf You're life. You're feeding millions so, of people. So, I, of course, you know. Can I ask, can I ask a quick question? Sure. Um, how difficult was it to get a recipe that you guys came up with to, to be mass produced and still say, still stay true to what you made when it's like, Mush. when it's, when it's made for all these people, I can't imagine that's an easy thing to do. And I might, that must've been real tough for you guys. Yeah. And you know, like that was like one of the hats I wore in the company was the R and D piece of it, working with R and D, working with Georgia, who's my mom um, and, and really, staying true to that recipe. And I'll never forget one of our very early stages of meetings. I'll never forget um, someone saying to us in a meeting that unless you put preservatives in here, because preservatives equals an insurance policy pretty much, sure. you're not gonna get anywhere. And I just looked at him and said, well, I wouldn't eat preservatives, so I'm not going to feed the public preservatives. So there has to be another way around this. That that one, statement, that one statement made me a fan for life. It's like a movie scene right there. That's, that's so important to me, so important to my family, so important to everybody out there, I think. Our audience. Point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good for you. And, Good for and, you. Yeah, and we we stand really um, very true to all of it. You know, we then moved on. We've created, um, you know, spring rolls again, a better for you. Um, you know, we're we're redoing that. They're going to be snacking on the go rolls, where we're doing like a spinach feta. We've created our own like uh, dough that they're wrapped in. They just happen to be more of a spring roll form. We've done a cauliflower and chicken. Again, these items are 45 calories, 50 calories max for each roll. We, we really, and again, the finest ingredients, like we don't buy like, you know, like bottom of the barrel feta. We really stay true to our mission, which is creating better for you items that are good for your body internally and still taste good. Uh, and keep in mind, we sell, uh, our, our, one of our key clients is Whole Foods, right? 
So, so they have very strict, strict like regulations, guidelines of what they what they require and the ingredient stack, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so we sell to a lot of premier outlets like that. That we just, we just, we, I was just going to mention, um, as far as what you're, you know, the story that you're that you're telling us is, you know, what outlets actually are listening to you and actually taking on the product because of the whole ethos of what you're just discussing. So you mentioned Whole Foods. Any other outlets that you want to mention that are actually coming on board with the with your products? Yeah, we uh, we got an awesome deal. Uh, fingers crossed, a mega deal with Publix, which is the number two supermarket chain in the United States. Let's do it, guys! Uh, uh, north of twelve hundred stores. That's a pretty big one that we've got in the pipeline later this week. Well, yeah, we're really excited about so, that one. To wow. the Greek gods, please, please, we're begging. <laughs> that uh, up it in would heaven. be huge. Um, we've got a lot of good stuff in the Midwest and Chicago land, uh, northern Midwest. We're in Shaw's. We're in um, Star, oh, Market. Jesus, Star Market. Um, um, got, so we we do Thea brands. Uh, the parent company is Yaniel Holding, right? That's our main brand, right? But our, our house brands, Thea, the one we've been discussing here. We also represent other Greek brands. That we've partnered up with, that we believe in with the same philosophy, right? Mm -hmm. Clean label, better for you. Um, so our initiative has gone even a step further um, this past couple of years with, you know, looking at the Greek economy and looking at how we can stimulate it by bringing better for you foods into the United States marketplace. And not only that, um, Ari and Foti, you know, we, for us, listen, you know, I don't want to say anybody and everybody can bring a yes, olives, ladia, I mean, you know, that's kind of mainstream Greece. But I think for us as a brand, as a business, and uh, it, it's a passion. We have a love for food, period, and in particular Mediterranean food. Um, for us, we want to highlight Greece a little differently, right? Mm -hmm. We want to bring items that are uh, more mainstream to the, to the U.S. consumer, but so, uh, we want to show the innovation of Greece. So that's what we've partnered up with brands. Uh, we've got a lot of good things coming up here in the we're next excited, yes. uh, 12 to 15 months. Uh, we're very excited. Um, and these are very premier brands in Greece that have kind of gone a little bit outside of uh, their comfort zone. Uh, and we feel there's great opportunity in the U.S. That's, so, that's so a cool. lot of exciting things. I think so that, that means... That means that we have to bring you back on so you can let us know about this, right? Absolutely. Yeah, and again, they follow under our values and mission of better for you, clean labels. So again, we, regardless of our parent company or our, you know, brand Thea, we, that is our philosophy as, as a team, as a group, as a family. So we are, we stand very strong with that philosophy with any company we do business with and partner up with. Amazing. Uh, the, I'm now that you're mentioning this, we're we're all seeing the progression that's coming out of Greece mm. and the innovation so that is, and, and, and it feels like it just happened in such, such a short time. But yeah. Yeah. you know, there's been a lot of development happening in the works for, for years, right? But now we're starting to see the fruits of all this work, where it's hitting all categories, all industries coming out of Greece, whether it's food, whether it's wine, beverages. Um, you know, they're, they're, we're, we're meeting so many fascinating uh, individuals that are representing just products that we would never think of that are coming out of Greece. And it just says, you know, we sit back and like, wow, like what's going on? And this is great and refreshing to listen to you, uh, to let us know that our Greek culture uh, is staying true to its roots and reintroducing, you mentioned this, you know, clean eating. Um, a lot of the products that are coming out of Greece that are from practices that are organic uh, cultivation, biodynamic producers, no synthetics, no preservatives. This is what they've been doing for a while. And now in the U.S. market, it's been like a, a marketing ploy to get people to buy their products. When he, for us in our Greek culture, it's been part of what we've done for centuries, right? Yeah. yeah. No, very well we said, are. brother. Very yeah. well said. It's really who we well. are. So it is so exciting to be able to share you know, what has been part of our culture for, for centuries right. to so many others. I always joke, guys. I always tell people, my friends, people I meet, even carrots taste different in Greece, right? <laughs> There's something to sure. be said about that, right? And I, it's something we take for granted and they do back in the homeland. And, uh, you know, for us, once again, not to reiterate myself, it was very important. We were trying to 
to, to really expand what we're doing and stuff uh, at here at uh, Yaniel Holding. And, you know, we were very selective, right? It wasn't that we did anything groundbreaking, but, you know, once again, we wanted to bring something different, right? We wanted to work with somebody that was going to bring something different to the table to really show the depth that Greece has to offer, right? Once again, we know we've got great olives. We know we got great oil, great cheeses. You know, but Greece has so much more to offer, right? We have, we have great everything. We do, brother. <laughs> it's not because we're great. It's the we truth. really do. We it's really do. When it, you know, um, um, but then it takes individuals such as yourselves to right. put that entrepreneurship into play as Greek Americans, as entrepreneurial Greeks, and and you know, it's not you. You can't just grab something and be like, "This is good. Everybody have it." <laughs> there's so much work that goes into it and you guys you guys cross that that like journey uh, of getting it to from concept right into thousands if not millions of people's uh hands yeah. and and not only is it fascinating what you're doing but it's also a pride factor for us on the local level that you know you hail from boston you know we're very proud Bostonians, Bostonians you know, yeah. anything that's Boston, but a couple of questions for the both of you for our audience. That's been on Peter. Where did you grow up? Uh, Boston, born and raised. Uh, actually, we got a kind of a unique uh, where, where uh, Boston, 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 Massachusetts. Boston, Rosendale is Rosendale. where we grew up. Rosendale. Yeah, Rosie, all the way. Rosendale. Yeah, I got it. We still go to our church in Rosendale. Say, right, right. And as far as your roots in Greece? Uh, yeah. Well, I think I think like most of Rosendale is from Caterini to begin. Yes. 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 <laughs> right? Awesome. Yes. Beautiful thing, yeah. But that's when I was born. I was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, just for nine months. I mean, I was raised there. He's just insane. Because yeah. he's the <laughs> only one that was born in Boston, so he thinks he's the true Bostonian. <laughs> wow, when I think of Milwaukee, I think of Laverne and Shirley. Not you just I know, up, brother. I know. <laughs> Everyone always laughs. But They're yeah. like, is that why Listen, you're so kind? I'm mom like, and yeah, dad, maybe. Mom had family, right, in Milwaukee, and uh, there was a lot of opportunity back in the day, right? They came oh, in wow. immigrants. Well, your, your traditional story, right? They ended up moving back because my dad's family was here in Brighton, Mass. Oddly enough, my mom would get sick because of the molt with the, the way they would process the beer. <laughs> and the and the doctor said to her, Georgia, you're gonna, there's nothing we could do. Either you guys are gonna have to relocate, get out of the city. <laughs> and sure enough, they took it upon themselves to move back to Boston. And then I was born, the most important one in the family. There you go. The great city of Boston, oh. the iconic city. Oh. Oh. Wow, this is this is a great story. Um, I mean, I knew I knew of you guys. I know of your product, uh, but hearing it from, you know, the creators themselves uh, just takes it to well, another level for me. And you know, if I'm any representation of Greeks or just people out there, then the, this this is so great for them to hear because it, it really does mean a lot you know you you see something you like uh, you see a brand you like it's great but then when you really get to the the background and the history of it and and you see all the care and love and and efforts and and you know i'm sure as greeks lots of fights uh, <laughs> to <laughs> get that fights. product out there uh, it, it really it really goes a long way and i, I think you know th this is an amazing thing and yeah definitely i um, definitely wish you continued success thank, thank you, you guys yeah if and, and you mentioned like Thea Brands um, as the home company, but um, as far as our audience getting to know any information of whether there's a website you want to mention, we're definitely going to have all the, Ari's going to mention that in all of the notes of the podcast. Yeah. But I mean, you mentioned Whole Foods, um, any other outlets that our yes, audience, please. you know? I mean, so go to Thea's yummyfoods.com. It's Thea yummy foods with an s.com you'll be able to see all the outlets that we're currently in and more to come i would love for everyone to go out and really try our spreadable feta our feta dip our spring rolls um you know which our spanakopita is like our most popular flavor and it really tastes like a real spanakopita um and um stay tuned for so many more things but really visit us on our website social media we're on Instagram. Peter's the king of Twitter. that. Twitter. Mm -hmm. We're on Facebook. Um, <laughs> what about TikTok, Peter? 
<laughs> yeah, that's it's not a bite. Um, <laughs> but it was a little too extreme for my Greek Boston blood, if you will. So I decided to opt out. It'll just be you with your with your spreads doing all sorts of ridiculous <laughs> dances. <laughs> that's it, that's and you'll it. have millions of followers. Adi, that's it, brother. Whatever it takes, right at the end of the day to get it out there, right to get the word out. Guys, we can't thank you enough for having us on. We really appreciate it. Um, our pleasure. Please, we, I mean, you guys keep up the good work too. Yeah, please go out there, buy our product, try it out. We'd love to hear feedback. Um, that that would be fantastic. We're always looking for the next hot flavor. I mean, French onion feta dip. Whoever would have thought oh, of that? Love the sound of that. Yeah. yeah. It, well, you it, know what? Like you said, whenever you have something to announce, let us know and come back Absolutely. on. Um, Great. I just want to say very quickly, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for for joining us. Uh, for doing this. I'm sure you guys have a crazy schedule, uh, but everybody out there that's watching and listening, um, all the information um, that they mentioned will be also in the notes. So just click there, follow them, get out there, buy their stuff. It's it's amazing. It's clean. It's it's everything we Delicious. love. Yes. And, uh, and we just want to say thanks once again, guys. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so Thank much, you, you guys. Much it was success. a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll talk soon, guys. Take care. Take care. All right. Bye. Thanks, everybody out there watching and listening. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.